Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to create a new invoice. So firstly the screen you can see right now is called as dashboard and for creating any other document you need to first add up a product which you have already seen in our previous video. So uh, to create an invoice our dashboard has a shortcut which is this you can click right over here and you would be able to create invoice or else you can go to sale and then click on new invoice. All right. So uh, let's assume that today we are creating a non GST invoice. So if you want to create a GST or non GST invoice, you can always change it from here. And then the second option you see here is the invoice number, which you can customize it, which you can edit it. So uh, let me customize it to 001. And then the date date can be a back date or can be a future date it will automatically take a present date which is going on with your calendar however if you want to rechange it you can do that then uh, we have an option of place of supply wherever you are supplying the product or wherever the client stays and there you are delivering the product you can change the state accordingly then we have two options here. One says cash account, another one says client account. Cash account means that the transaction or the document which you are generating right now is going to settle there and there. They are going to pay uh, the bill in cash and it is going to settle right now. But if you see in client account, client account is something for people who give product in credit. So. Uh, let's assume that I run a general store and there are a lot of clients who come monthly and they give me monthly credit over there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a client. So for creating a client, there's a different option on the dashboard here. You can see from here they can create up a client and then in the drop down list, they can find the name of client. Let's assume it's uh, this client. So as soon as I go to drop down and select the client name, I can see client name. I can see contact number. I can see the address which is mentioned. Let's take it as also I can edit it anytime. All right. So if there's a GST in for the client, you can add that too. Now there's an option of sold by this sold by particularly says that if uh, there's a staff who is making a bill and you want to give commission over that bill, so that option is for it. So let's take Sam is my staff. Now how to add up a staff on the dashboard. You will find a different option just below the client that this is a particular option to create a staff moving forward. You see there are two options here. First one say item tag and second one say item code. Both are there to fetch up your product. So if you have already mentioned barcode while adding a product, you can mention the barcode here. You can scan a barcode here and then just click on enter and your item would be added. Or if you have given an item code for a particular product, you can mention that, enter it and it would be here. Or else, ignoring this, you can just mention item name. So you write any initial and uh, I have just mentioned S and all the items which I which have S in it would be displayed in the drop down. So uh, let's take an example of high tech build soft. All right. So now uh, the unit currently uh, default unit which has been selected is numbers. If I want to change it, I can quantity. Uh, let's take one. But if someone needs to change it to three or four, they can do that too. sale price. Uh, if you want to change the sale price, yes, you can do that at the time of billing. So let's take this. And then if there's a particular discount which is applicable on the product, you can mention that. You see there are two calculators just above. One is there uh, just beside sale price. It is a calculator which will help you to mention a sale price. All right. And the second one is there to help you with the discount. So I go here. If uh, this particular box is to give discount in percentile basis. If I only know that I wanted to give 10 rupees more discount, I'll click, I'll mention 10 rupees here and then enter. So it will automatically calculate it in percentile and add it up. That's that. This uh, this space is particularly for description. So if there is any description related to the product and you wanted to add it, you can add it here. A barcode which is there and you want it there to be printed. Just click here and manually enter it. There's a plus icon which you need to click on it to add the product in invoice or else you can click 
or gives a shortcut which is control A. Okay, so now it is added. If I want to edit anything, I can just go to edit particularly. And here you can see I can edit. If I want to remove this, there you go. If I want to change the price over here, I can do that too. Save. Okay. Now on this corner, you see there are three checkbox. The very first checkbox is apply discount. So if I, if there are, let's assume there are three or four or more than 10 products in a same invoice and I wanted to give two, two percent discount on every product. What I'll do, I'll directly go to apply discount, put two here and then discount would be applicable in all the product which I've added in invoice. Now the second option, the second checkbox is add a reference. If there's a reference number, it could be a PO number, DM number, or uh, inquiry number, or eBay bill number, which you wanted to add up in a invoice, you can mention it here, and then it would be reflecting. Then the third option says add shipping. If there's a shipping charge which you are going to applicable in your invoice, please mention it over here. You see there are these small small icons. The very first icon says reminder. If you want to add a reminder on the same invoice, you can add it here. If uh, this would be a GST calculator, if you want to settle up the sale price, you can do it here. So there is this two option here, add and remove GST. Accordingly, you can use the calculator. Then there's the option of hold invoice and search invoice. So if you want to hold an invoice, you can just click on it. Whichever item or whichever uh, services you have added till now would be on hold. And I'll give you an example. Let's hold this invoice. All right. And now I wanted to search my hold invoice. There are three, four invoices which I have kept on hold. And now the person is standing right front of me and is asking for a bill. What I'll do is I'll go to this search bar. Okay, now you can see all the invoices which I have made in hold. I will click on the very first one because that client is in front of me and I will print the invoice. Then you see reset all form values. So if there is one client and he has added three, four product in the list and now he is refusing to pay or he is saying, no, no, that's all right. I don't want to buy it from now. So what I'll do is I'll just click on reset and I'll restart billing with another client. All right. Okay. So now you can see there are two more boxes here. The very first says delivery term and the second one says remark. So here it is mentioned remarks in private use. That means it is not going to print whatever you mention here. It is not going to be printed in your document. Now for the delivery terms, it could be anything. It could be uh, this particular delivery will take two or three days. Anything which you wanted to be printed and to be shown to your client like that. If you want to mention it, you can type it over here or else it is an optional box. Now you see payment details over here. Date can be edited here. It could be back, it could be in future. It's up to you. Now the mode can be changed. Mode could be cash, check, card payment, whichever mode is being used to complete the transaction. So uh, as we have already selected client account, it can show us balance, but if it is selected in cash account, it's need to be settled then and there. There is no option of crediting in cash account. If you wanted to give credit to any client, you need to make a bill in client account. All right, so I have selected mobile wallet, given the transaction ID, and then the amount which needs to be paid. So there are two options here, save and save and pin. For save, you can use the shortcut of control S. For save and print, you can use the shortcut of control P. Okay. All right. Now we have a printed, uh, like a perfect print view, which is going to be there for us. So the first option you see here is the icon of print. You click on it and it would be printed. Copies. How many copies do you want right now? Two, three, accordingly. Available printer, if uh, the printer you wanted to check, if you have three or four printer and you wanted to check which one is currently connected with the system, you can check it from here. Templates, we have a variety of templates. It could be trend and classic. So you can select one of each. 
after that you can see the option of print type so uh, currently by default it is being selected as original you can see here it is mentioned as original copy if you want to change it to duplicate you can select duplicate here or else if it's an extra copy or if it's for a triplicate it's for a transporter you can select accordingly print acknowledgement okay okay all right if this is the acknowledgement which would be printed then you have four more icons here the very first icon says pdf if you want this bill to be there in pdf format click or click over here then uh, this one is specifically to mailing them mailing a client so you can click here and get this bill in your email and mail it to a client directly sms if you want to send a sms onto this on the same number you can send it whatsapp if uh, you have internet connection and you want to whatsapp this file you can do that now you see uh, this highlighted text edit company name address contact gstn as soon as we click on here you will find all the company details which uh, you have already mentioned and you want them to be there in your invoice now you can also add company logo and company signature over here which is going to be printed okay i will save this up all right and here you can see my company details which are there that's that just click on the print icon and you'll be getting a sale invoice so this was particularly a non-gst invoice we'll do the same if you wanted to make a gst invoice that's it for today thank you for joining in have a good day